We sometimes want our team to be able to easily update information without having to click into a record page and make all the different fields editable. To do this, we can enable inline editing on any field in both collection views and on record pages. To enable inline editing, I'm going to toggle on edit mode, click to surface the builder sidebar, then hover over one of the fields here that I want to enable inline editing on. For example, the property name field here. I can click on the pencil icon here and then toggle on enable inline editing. And I can do the same on any of the other fields here, such as this date field for the listing start date, on this status field, which is a single option field, and also on this price now field, which is of course a number field. If I toggle off edit mode, I can see what the user experience is like when inline editing is enabled. So if I click on this property value here, I can now update the information without having to go to the record page. So I could change the name of this property, for example, change the listing start date, update the status, and change the price. So that's how you can enable inline editing on individual fields in your collection views. And if I click through to the relevant record page, I can also enable inline editing on the record page details block as well. For example, on the property field here in this details block, I can toggle on the option to show edit state by default. And that way my app users can come in and update this information without having to click the edit button here that makes all the fields editable that the user has permission to edit. So that's how you can enable inline editing on both collection views and record pages in your Noloco app.